through the basic interface. This is the first thing you usually see. This great big giant white area right here is called the pasteboard. We have our document right here with our margin guides, our column guides, and over here we have our toolbox. We have the menu bar at the very, very top, and then we have our control panel. If we were to have multiple documents open, they would all be listed here as individual tabs. Since I only have one and I have not saved it, it's called Untitled. Over here we have our individual panels. Let's talk about our menu bar. If you're on a Mac, usually it'll say InDesign here. And then we have File, Edit, Layout, Type, Object, Table, View, Window, and Help. And of course, underneath each one of these, we have a bunch of different options. These arrows right here mean that there are additional options under those options. Plus, it has its keyboard shortcut. For example, Command S is to save a document, etc., etc. One thing I would like to show you, though, is our window. Underneath window is workspace. You will see that there are a bunch of preset workspaces. Depending on the individual project you will, you will be working on, you may need different panels. And until you become familiar with the panels that you frequently use and the ones you don't use, for example, if you're working on a project that's font face, font family, and has a lot of type in it, you may want to switch your workspace to the typography workspace. And generally, it's going to have all of the panels that you may need. And at any time, you can reset your workspaces by clicking on Window, Workspace, Reset, and whatever workspace that you're in. So if I go into the Essentials, which is basically a panel with the most basic and simple essential panels. You can always reset it, window, reset essentials. And it'll give you the default saved workspace. Let's talk a little bit first of all about our application bar. At the top you're going to see first of all this little button right here that says go to bridge. Bridge is a program that comes with all of the Adobe programs. It's a file organizing system that works really good with the entire Adobe suite. You also notice just to the right of the bridge icon you have your zoom levels. Now typically if you change your zoom levels with this drop down menu to a hundred percent this usually shows you your document as it would appear in actual size. You can change your zoom levels anywhere from five percent to 4,000%. We'll go ahead and put it at about 75% for now. You can always move around your pasteboard or your document with these scroll bars right here on the bottom and on the right. Scroll down to move them around. Another good way to move your document around is to use this hand tool. If I click on the hand tool, I can click on my document and the hand becomes a little fist like as if it's grabbing it and I can move it around. Okay just like this. Picks it up and moves it around. Or, let's say you have another tool selected, if you hit your space bar, it temporarily becomes your hand tool and you can move it around. Okay. And of course the keyboard shortcut at any time is the H key, which will automatically give you your hand tool. The space bar is the most efficient way of doing it because what happens is it gives you your hand tool, then when you're done using it, it gives you the tool you were originally using. If by any chance you get lost and you can't find your document or it's all screwed up and you're wondering where it's at, at any time you can double click your hand tool in the tools panel and it will center. Up here we have our zoom levels and next to that we also have our view options. If I want to see my document without the guides, I can simply uncheck the guides. There's my document. Rulers, as you can see up top, you can turn those off, and it basically says, this is what I would like to see. We're going to go ahead and turn our guides back on for now. And just to the right of that, you're going to notice your screen mode. If I click on it by default, it's on normal. But maybe we'd like to look at it as it will eventually be printed. These guides right here will not be printed. And sometimes you'll have uh, rectangular boxes that you create. Um, and these are all just basically guides. But if you come up to your view mode and turn on preview, it's going to get rid of all the guides that will not be printed. 
and show you what your document's going to look like. The only reason you're seeing that is because it's selected, so I'll deselect it. This is your preview mode that says, basically, get rid of everything that I'm not supposed to see, and let's see what our document is starting to look like. So we have it up here. We also have it down here. I can click and hold, and you can see, actually, if I just click on it, it'll open it up. I can go into the preview mode. But, of course, the fastest, most efficient way to do it is just to hit the W. And next to that is different ways that you can arrange the documents. You may want to split them all up. You may float all your windows. You may want to have different windows side by side. This comes in really handy when you're working in a multi-page document. Also with our workspaces right here, window workspaces, here's our different workspaces here. You can also switch your workspaces on the right hand side. Here's all your different workspaces. You can reset them, etc.